can come. As most of you know already, in St. Suki's strange garden of woodland creatures, there are many odd animals. Uh, some of them are wooden, even. But when I went into the garden this morning, I found a new one. He said his name is Lobo. Look, he's very friendly. He told me he eats marmalade sandwiches, and occasionally he likes me to slip him a bone. So I'm going to read him a story. Are you listening? Uh, Good. This is called the Big Fat Hairy Fairy Dance. When I stepped out onto the patio this morning, a rhinoceros was singing the dawn chorus, Shirley Temples on the Good Ship Lollipop. In the sky, a rainbow arced over St. Suki's strange garden of woodland creatures, at the end of which sat a confused Christmas card. It depicted a snowy street of bay-windowed shops, children dancing, and a plump robin singing, Oh, come all ye faithful. All Victorian Christmas cards are confused, unhinged, but this one managed to gnaw through the straps and set sail through uncharted seas to become a half-baked memory strapped to the caboose of a train. Today is one of my favorite days in the social calendar of St. Suki's strange garden of woodland creatures. Today is the day of the big fat hairy fairy dance. I prepared by stripping down to my animal skin, attaching bells to my toes and skipping down dingly dangly lane waving paycock feathers. I stopped briefly at the rabbit's carrot patch and discussed octopus tentacles and pregnant pauses with a wizened bunny. This elderly bunny was so full of ancient wisdom, his head was surrounded by bees shaped like question marks. The bells on my toes tinkled as I continued across the wild wood fens to the grove of starling eggs and all the baggage, coal mines and antimacassars that go with it. As I turned off Sherlock Holmes Avenue into Penny Lane, I was surprised to see two water rats building a raft on the river, on the banks of the River Phoenix. Oh, good morning, St. Suki, said one of the water rats. Where are you off to? I'm going to the big fat hairy fairy dance, I said. Look, I've got fairy bells on my toes and I'm waving peacock feathers. I jumped up and down so the water rats could hear the bells. I continued walking out of the grove of starling eggs to the alabaster drug factory where the big, fat, hairy, fairy dance was in full swing. There were big, fat, hairy fairies everywhere. Some of the fairies are so fat it would be hard to imagine them flying on such tiny wings. It's nigh on impossible to describe what a big, fat, hairy fairy looks like. Imagine a mountain of toothpaste after a black panther slept in it, or a ball of yarn after it rolled down the back of a sofa and sits there, forlorn and forgotten. As a string quartet played Brahms' Hungarian dance number five, I joined the big, fat, hairy fairies and we danced like Swiss meringue buttercream, icing melting off a Cuisinart stainless steel cordless electric kettle. And as I danced with the hefty nymphs, sprites and hobgoblins, I experienced a brief moment of clarity, penetrating the fog of my chainmail vest and piercing my unconsciousness like a bolt from a crossbow. Now, where's my cup of Earl Grey? Did you like that story, Lobo? I'll give you a bone later. Okay, let's get in the pool. <laughs>